getting down. In this video, we will learn vocabulary related to enterprise with some definitions and examples. So, let's get started. Joint stock company. A company that is owned and controlled by shareholders, with shares that are traded on a stock market. Shareholder. The owner of one or more shares of stock in a corporation, commonly also called a stockholder. Dividends will be sent to shareholders on March 31st. Well, son, since you're no longer a shareholder, this is where I leave you. <clears throat> well, I, uh, I appreciate the opportunity you're giving me, Mr. Cromwell, as the single largest shareholder in Teldar Paper to speak. Founding shareholder. A shareholder that holds at least an ordinary share and has his slash her signature in the list of shareholders that are also founder of a joint stock company. Charter capital means the total value of assets that have been contributed or promised by the members or partners or owners when the limited liability company or partnership is established. Voting capital The stake or share that endows that holder the right to vote on the issues within the jurisdiction of the board of members or general meeting of shareholders. Dividend Part of the profit of a company that is paid to shareholders. We anticipate receiving a substantial dividend on our holding. Pay a shareholder dividend. Stake The amount that someone has invested in a company, often expressed as a percentage of the total share capital. He holds or owns a 40% stake in the company. All these people dependent on me, tens of millions of dollars at stake, you know, it's, sometimes I feel like I, I, I've been off more than I can chew, you know. If the police were to gain leverage over one of you, everyone's money would be at stake. Sole proprietorship. A business that is owned and operated by only one person. How to start a sole proprietorship in two easy steps. One, if you're using anything other than your full legal name, you'll need to register your name with your provincial or territorial government. If you're opening up a partnership with two or more people, you'll need to register as a partnership with your provincial or territorial government, and you'll get a business number. Two, once you reach $30,000 of income, you'll need to register for GST or HST with Revenue Canada. If you're in a province with PST, check their guidelines to see when you need to register and if you need to register. And that's it. You're ready to go. Follow for more tax tips. Limited Liability Company A type of company in which the owners are protected against personal liability for the organization's debts and obligations. Hey everybody, uh, Justin here again with Marty Law Group. The first thing I have to say is I am not here advising you as your attorney. Legally, I have to say that. But what I do want to do is give you some input uh, on how to form an LLC. Okay, it's going to depend on your state. And each state has a different guidelines. Um, but generally, there's going to be a few steps that are consistent. The first thing you're going to want to do, you have an LLC name you probably like. Go to your Secretary of State website, see if that name is available. If not, you might be able to find something similar and then do a DBA or a fictitious name and kind of operate under that name you want. Second, an EIN, Employer Identification Number. That's a federal number that allows you to file taxes, open a bank account. Third, you're gonna want some sort of operating agreement, partner agreement, if, even if you're operating solo, you wanna have an attorney draft something, put it in place, okay? And then there's something called a registered agent. Look into those things, we're happy to help. Limited Liability Partnership A form of general partnership that provides an individual partner protection against personal liability for certain partnership obligations. Partnership A company which is owned by two or more people. Theirs was a partnership based on mutual respect, trust and understanding. Let's talk about the differences between legal entities like sole proprietors and LLCs. Remember these are entities, not tax statuses. There's no such thing as LLC in the tax code. You're a sole proprietor anytime you go in business by yourself. You're fully exposed. If someone sues your business, they get access to your assets. 
and vice versa. Anytime you share net profits with someone else, you form a general partnership. Notice how you're both exposed. That's because you're both liable for each other now. Limited partnerships aren't very common, typically used within families. LLCs offer the most protection. If you get sued, your company's protected. If your company gets sued, you're protected. Corporations also offer a decent amount of protection. They just require more corporate formalities to keep them up. Here's what you need to ask the pros. What legal entity should I use to blank? Be good to future you. Insolvency. A situation in which a person or company does not have enough money to pay debts, buy goods, act. The decision to file for insolvency rather than bankruptcy provides protection against creditors. The system's insolvent. No one knows what to do next, except repeat the insanity till the next bubble blows. Winding up. The process of closing a business that is not successful and has debts that it cannot manage. The company was threatened with a winding up order for non-payment of tax debts. Bankruptcy A situation in which a business or a person becomes unable to pay their debts, and asks to be made officially bankrupt. I'm in so much debt, I should probably just file bankruptcy, right? Whoa, the B word? You know that you can't wipe out all debts with bankruptcy, right? Wait, really? What kind of debts can I wipe out then? The types of debt that can be wiped out are unsecured debts, so things like credit card bills, medical bills, and personal loans. Secured debts like mortgages and car payments can only be wiped out if you give up the property. Damn it, I thought bankruptcy was like a free pass for all debt. Unfortunately, it's not. You should only use it as a last resort because it'll tank your credit score by a couple hundred points and it last on your credit report for 7 to 10 years. Seal An official mark on a document, sometimes made with wax, that shows that it is legal or has been officially approved. The electromagnetic seal. You do understand the circuits cannot be cut locally. Trade secret any valuable commercial information that provides a business with an advantage over competitors who do not have that information. He was fired for revealing the company's trade secrets to a competitor. Silent partner. A non-legal term for an investor who puts money into a business, receives profits but is not involved in managing it. Enabling clause. The section of a formal agreement, a law, etc. that gives someone legal authority to do something. There is an enabling clause in the contract that states that the company has the right to terminate the policy at any time. Statutory Meeting the first meeting of the shareholders of a public limited company, which must take place within a particular time after it is formed. Statutory Report A report that a company or organization must make by law. The bankrupt company is compiling a statutory report for the Department of Trade and Industry.